The residents of one suburban neighborhood in Port St. Lucie, Florida aren't used to seeing much action. Normally, their streets pretty quiet, in fact. But then came a morning where everyone was stunned by an unusual scene that was taking place in the cul-de-sac. Resident Ann Sable looked out front around 8.30 a.m. that Thursday and noticed a silver car moving in reverse. Initially, she didn't think much of it. That is until she realized the vehicle wasn't stopping. It was actually driving backwards in circles. First, I thought I saw somebody backing up, but then they kept going and I'm like, okay, what are they doing? Things just got stranger from that point. Sable had no clue who was behind the wheel doing donuts in their street. She became even more curious once the police department arrived, followed by the fire department. There was definitely something very bizarre going on. For an hour, the vehicle drove backwards in a circular pattern, leaving tire marks, hitting trash cans, and crunching up a neighbor's mailbox, too. But that's what slowed it down. Eventually, the officers were able to get the door open with the keypad, and the driver jumped out. Believe it or not, though, it wasn't a driver at all. It was actually a black Labrador named Max, who belonged to the owner of the vehicle. What? The entire time it had been a canine sitting in the seat, and not teenagers trying to cause a nuisance. Let's just say it was a sight you don't see every day, Sable told WPBF 25 News. Then I saw the dog get out of the car, and it was a big black lab or something, and I'm like, okay, this is turning weird. Fortunately, it wasn't a pooch gone crazy or anything like that. The owner had simply made a mistake that he'll probably never make again. According to the Sun Sentinel, the man had his dog in the vehicle when he turned down the wrong street. He then got out for a second, and his dog accidentally knocked the stick shift into reverse. Whoops! The owner planned to pay for the damage that his donut driving car caused. Everyone was just thankful that there was a happy ending to the story and that nobody got hurt, including Max. During her interview with the Sun Sentinel, Sable told them, It was a pretty funny little situation. It made my day, obviously. She continued, They should give that dog a driver's license. He drives better than some people I've seen on the roads out here. The Internet's actually full of dog stories on social media that'll make you chuckle. A Twitter user that goes by History Club wrote, I watched my dog chase his tail for 10 minutes and I thought, wow, dogs are so easily entertained. Then I realized I just watched my dog chase his tail for 10 minutes. Summer Goth tweeted what she overheard on her outing to the dog park. Just heard a guy at the dog park tell his dog no and then more quietly, we talked about this. Sometimes when you think it's going to be a typical day, it turns out to be anything but. Please share this with your friends and family.